As I note, uh, both of you were uh, important members of last year's team, and uh, can you talk about uh, getting it again this year, uh, second title in a row, and, and what was it like the second time around? I mean, it was amazing. It's just as good as the first time. Um, I don't think we ever are going to get over that feeling of winning. It's obviously a great feeling. So it was all heart, all teamwork, and we have a really good team this year, and I think we'll go far with them. So Yeah, definitely. It's like all adrenaline. We just keep pushing and keep fighting to get to that next level of play. Yeah, and uh, can you talk about, um, I don't know if it was a motivator at all, because uh, Shrewsbury had, had played you the toughest of any local team in the last time you guys met toward the end of the season there. And uh, did that sort of uh, tell you guys that you you had to uh, bring bring your best effort because it wasn't necessarily uh, locked up yet. Yeah. Um, we watched film yesterday of that game before this, and I think that that just pushed us so hard, and we got really like almost like frustrated and mad at ourselves for letting that happen, and that just really like forced us to do better here today. We went and worked off of that. Yeah, we really worked together. We worked on the mistakes we made last game with them, and we worked towards their weaknesses, and we just had a lot of team chemistry, and we had a lot of heart. So I think that's really what. Push us over the edge. Mm -hmm. And uh, what did it mean to you guys now? Is I know you both sort of stepped up into leadership roles this year and a little more involved in the team to uh, have such a such a part in in making it a really kind of a, a trend now the uh, the Algonquin title. Um, yeah, definitely. Last year we had a lot of great players, and I think that we really had to step it up this year. And we have a lot of fresh new players and younger kids, and I think that we just had to like like I said, step it up and take it home today. Yeah, I mean, it's so cool that we get to be part of these consecutive wins. Um, that hasn't happened for Algonquin for a while, so I think that this program has been built really well, and I think that we've just grown up in the right time and the right place, so it's cool to be part of that. Yeah, and then uh, the, last, the way you guys uh, sort of went to the state finals last year for the, the first time for a, a local team, uh, does that kind of give you confidence going forward that you have a chance in this, this next game coming up? I think like a lot of us have more experience just being there last year. We kind of didn't know what to expect. So this year, I think a lot of our team that's returning has the experience to like, come into the state um, like competition and really like work with what we've seen before. Yeah, um, and we were huge underdogs last year in the state semis. No one thought we were going to win, and it was a huge surprise when we did win. So I mean, it just proves to us that anything can happen and anything's possible. So. We're not going into this with any doubts. We're gonna just play our hard outs. You guys made it two in a row this year. I know uh, you lost a lot of girls last year, but this team really came together. Yeah, I mean, this team, you know, every year it's different, but this team was a bunch of unknowns, a bunch of kids that worked hard last year at practice, but necessarily didn't see a lot of game time. So in the beginning of the year, it took us some time to get to know each other, how we all play together. And, you know, probably around April vacation, we went through a tough time, but then after that, we've kind of been unstoppable since then. Yeah, uh, if you had to sort of sum up this team, what the defining qualities are of them, I mean, you, you saw both the ability to score and the ability to shut down a good offense. Right? Um, I think composure, that's the big thing. You know, we practice hard against each other all the time, and the girls never really lose their composure. So they're always good under pressure, whether it's on offense or on defense. And they, they come together when they need to. They did a great job. Was it a, a motivator at all, how close Shrewsbury made it the last time you guys played them to, to make sure you brought your A game? Yeah, definitely. You know, last time we played them, um, you know, it was a close game. And this was a hard-fought game, too, but we knew that if we focused on the small things, ground balls, winning draws, good sh better shot placement, that we had a better chance of making it uh, a little more, giving us a little more breathing. Mm -hmm. And uh, what do you think it means to the girls and to the program, uh, making it too straight this year, uh, sort of starting a trend, you know, it, join that sort of club with, with Westboro with uh, stringing, stringing multiple titles together. Right. I mean, the first one, you always you love the first one, but the second one seems a little sweeter because you know what it takes to get there. And you know that during the course of the whole season, everybody's got you in their sights and they want you. So second time around, I think, is a little bit sweeter because it's so much different and it's a harder fight. 